Hey guys, Kirshan Madhav Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 4 from the Jan 2023 PUA paper 2. If you want to check out the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. So it reads, Timmy and Gertie are in partnership sharing profits and losses in accordance with their partnership agreement, which states the following. 1. Interest on capital is about at 6% per annum. 2. Gertie is to be paid a salary of 75000 per annum. 3. Interest is to be charged on each partner's total drawings for the year at 3% per annum. Item 4. Timmy and Gertie share the balance of profits and losses in a ratio of 3 to 2 respectively. Okay, before we go any further, if you need to check out how to do a partnership appropriation account, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So if you're not sure how to do partnerships, check that out and come back here. If, however, you feel confident in your partnership appropriation accountability, let's proceed. So, some more information. Balances on the partner's current accounts at 1 Jan 2022. Timmy, credit, 14000 Guilty, debit, 5000 So, current accounts are accounts that house the earnings and withdrawals details of the partners, right? We don't put them in the capital accounts unless specifically stated. Generally speaking, we use current accounts. Credit balances show that you've earned more than you've withdrawn. So you have a surplus on your current account. Debit balances show that you've withdrawn more than you've earned, which means you have a, a deficit, sorry, on your current account. Now, the balances on the partner's capital accounts at 1 Jan 2022, Timmy 90, 30, 60, okay. And partner's drawings for the year ended 31st December 2022, 2500, 2600. And the net income for the year ended 31 December 2022 was 156,757. Cool. Let's take a look and see what they wanted us to do. So it says to prepare the appropriation account for the partnership for the year ending 31st December 2022. This is the format. Let's go back up to the question and get started now. Okay, so be sure to head up name of the partnership, name of the statement, and the period to which it applies. So we start off with our net income for the year ended 31 December 2022, which is 156,757, and to which we add the interest on drawings. Now, item 3 says interest is to be charged on each partner's total drawings for the year at 3% per annum. So let's go down to the partner's drawings. Timmy had 2,500, Gertie had 56. So all we do is multiply 3% by each of those, get the figures, the individual figures, add them together, and add that to the net income. And that will be the profit and everything else that we are now going to appropriate. So we put less appropriations. Now, there's no one right way to do this as if there's no specific order you can put the salary first you can put the interest on capital first but the share of remaining profit must go last all right so i like to show my interest on capital first so i'm going to put that so it says interest on capital is allowed at six percent per annum if we go down to the balances on the partner's capital accounts timmy has ninety thousand, beauty has sixty thousand. So we find 6% of 90 for Timmy, 6% of 60 for Gertie, 5,400 and 3,600 respectively, totaling 9,000. Now, only Gertie gets a salary of 75,000 per annum. We add that here and we get 84,000 as a total appropriation, which is then subtracted from the 157. And that gives us the profit after appropriation, which we then share between the partners in what ratio? Item 4 told us. They share the balance of profits and losses in the ratio 3 to 2 respectively. What do we do with the 3 to 2 ratio? We add 3 and 2 together and get 5, and then put each of these numbers over that 5, like a common denominator. So it's a 3 fifths, 2 fifths split to Timmy and Gertie respectively. So when you find 3 fifths of the 73, you get 43.8. 2 fifths of the 73 gives us 29.2. Double adding that back gives us back 73, which means we have given the partners all of the profits, shared it out or appropriated it appropriately. Okay, that's it for part A. Let's take a look at part B. Okay, sorry, I meant to say A part 2. So it says prepare Gertie's current account using the information on page 18 and, ans and your answer on page 19. Balance the account at the end of the year. So I give you a nice little format here. Now, honestly, I feel it's kind of lazy to do one account, so I did both for Timmy and for Gertie. Just give me one sec, let me pull back up the information and we'll go from there. Okay, so again, I know that they've said only Gertie. I'm going to do Timmy and Gertie just for the sake of practice. Right, so Timmy had an opening balance of 14,000 on the credit side. We're going to put that there. Now again, the partner's current accounts house all of their earnings, which we just, which we just saw in the appropriation account. 
and with drawings, which is drawings and interest on drawings. So let's put those items in first. Let's put the withdrawals in first. So the drawings, according to the question, Timmy had 2,500 of drawings. We're going to put that there. The interest on drawings is 3% of that, which is $75, right? Now let's pull up the appropriation account and we'll see that um, Timmy made some earnings, right? So the interest on capital, the share of profit, right? So that's it. So now what we have to do is balance off this, um, whatchamacallit, uh, current account. Right, so we're going to add up that side, you get 63.2, which is clearly more than the debit side. So it has to total the same. So it'll take 63.2 and minus the total here. That'll give you the balance carried down, which is 60,625, sorry. And it's brought up on the credit side, right? So again, that's just a little extra practice. Let's take a look at Gertie's current account now. So Gertie's opening balance is on the debit side, which means Gertie had a deficit to start with, right? Now, Gertie's withdrawals, the Drawings was 5,600, right? So we're gonna put that in right here. The interest was 3% of that, which was 168. And Gertie's earnings, so Gertie had um, interest on capital, salary, and share of profit. Now, when you add up this side, you're gonna get more than 100,000, definitely, right? This side is only about 10,768. So that side's total is 1078. How should this side be? And when you find the difference between both sides, you'll get the 97 or 32, which is the balance on Gertie's current account, right? There's one more part of this question. Let's get it out of the way and call it George. Right, so B part one, state two components which Timmy and Gertie could have included in their partnership agreement in addition to the profit sharing ratio. Um, I'm just gonna put up a list here of several items that you could, you could use. Name of the partnership, name of the partners, titles and responsibilities of each partner, types of permissible business activities, what they're allowed to do, what they're not allowed to do, the amount and timing of fixed capital commitments or contributions by each partner, how much money they're going to put in and when, rate of interest, rate of interest on drawings, salaries, whether drawings is allowed and if there are any limits, right? The procedures for admitting a partner, for retirement of a partner, for dismissing a partner, right? And yeah, the last item here was state one reason why Timmy and Guti decided more partnership. So I'll give you four. Right? So when you have more than one person, you have access to a larger capital base because two people will have more money than one <clears throat> to have access to a wider variety of skills. Right? Um, so yeah, so Timmy might know some stuff that Guti doesn't know and vice versa. To have access to a wider, deeper knowledge base. Again, Timmy might know stuff that Guti might know and vice versa. And to be able to divide the labor and specialize. Right? So that's about it for this question. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question four in the Jan 2023 PUA paper two. If you have any further questions about the solution, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some free, interesting PUA handles. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.